Adiyom. Welcome to our next lesson on the Bhagavad Gita. Let's start with our slow deep breath. Inhaling. Pause for a moment and slowly emptying the lungs. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So this is episode 18. I'm calling it, What Do We Do When the Going Gets Tough? So previously uh, we have left Arjuna in the middle of the battlefield. Sri Krishna has placed them in front of two men he greatly respects, Bhishma and Drona and all his enthusiasm for this battle has seeped out. And now he says in verse uh, 5 in the second chapter, I think it would be better for me to walk away now and go out begging for my food than to fight against these noble souls who have been my teachers. If I were to kill them Anything I enjoy in this world will be stained with your blood. So if you've probably noticed in your life, uh, life is going to present us with continuous dilemmas and challenges we have to face. And this is particularly true of sincere spiritual seekers. And these difficult situations are there to help us see our weaknesses, see how they limit our life, and to come in touch with our inner strength. Arjun is a great soul, but now he's facing with the, the biggest challenge of his life and maybe of all his lifetimes. And Sri Krishna has orchestrated this because he feels Arjuna is ready at this moment to face it. And I think that's how it works for all of us. But Arjuna doesn't feel that way. At first he was ready to engage in this fight. And then he says, no, he feels that to transcend everything he knows about himself, his whole personality now seems too arduous a task and he's not ready to, for that, he feels. And uh, he comes up with this idea that he could go out as a monk, become a sannyasin, a swami, walk away from this battle and beg for his food. That's what it means. Which, that's what he says when he says, begging for my food. And... Uh, what could be more spiritual than that? And isn't that bitter to eat whatever someone offers me from begging, even if it's stale bread, than to eat a feast that is sprinkled with the blood of all that is close to me? And yes, becoming a monk can be a noble thing, but not if it's running away when the going gets tough. And that's a that's really what's happening here. We can do our best to uh, make the ego feel safe, but it's always going to be an illusion. It's innately fragile and vulnerable. And uh, we can try to protect it, and when it feels discomfort, walk away or even run away. But I think we all have experienced that, that our karma is going to follow us and eventually we're going to find ourselves in a similar set of situations. So, let that be the lesson for today and I hope to see you next week. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.